What's up, everybody? Rob here, back with another episode of Wasting Wild Cards here on Malt 5. And uh, this week I got something kind of spicy. It's kind of like a green, black, rock, planeswalker, land destruction deck. Um, rumor has it there's some cool decks floating around in Japan that kind of utilize the Crucible of Worlds and Field of Ruin and Assassin's Trophy lock on all these greedy three-color decks. So I spent barely any time through the uh, Explorer package and a thing with some Planeswalkers and those cards, and I was like, hey, let's see if it's good. I haven't play tested it at all. It's probably bad. I didn't make a sideboard. So uh, let's go um, Let's go to a constructed event. Let's see if I can get enough gold to do a draft. Oh, hey, I'm already in one. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna resign from this one. Sorry. Hey, look, I have enough gold to do a draft. Okay, anyway, let's, uh, construct an event. Yeah. All right, all right. The rock. Can you smell what this rock is cooking? It's probably not good, but let's find out. So, as somebody who very regularly plays very greedy three-color decks, um, oh, you know what I forgot? That freaking green-black card that destroys the land. Yeah. Oh well. What do you know? What if we can't do? We're not. We're not saying we're the uh, the best people here, are we? Uh, so anyway, this is a pretty good hand. We got some disruption. We got some ramp. We got some land destruction. We got some explore. It's pretty good. Let's keep this. And we're on the play. Um, I think it's probably more powerful to get Land War Elves on, it, on turn one, because then we can follow up with a Duress and a Merfolk Branchwalker. Or, if it looks like it's a greedy three-color deck, get spicy with it. I mean, I personally, in every format, always run at least a... Oh, well, this... Do you know what deck is very good against the Land Destruction deck? Uh, Mono Red. Do I dress mono red? I might as well find out for sure if it is mono red. Hmm. So they don't have lands, so I guess we just take the strike. So I guess uh, these aren't exactly great. Uh, can't cast that for a while. It's funny how horrible these assassin's trophies are right now. Um, yeah, I think we just want to do damage here. Now, if they don't block, they're going to turn on Spectacle. Let's, uh... see what they're doing here. I mean, we have a clean answer to basically all of their threats, so it's the burn that I guess is the more problematic. Do I let this resolve? So they're gonna have an untapped land, but sorcery. That's pretty nice. That is a very good answer to the uh, Chandra there. I mean, I guess there's an argument to hold this back to block, but. That's actually probably the, the proper move. Figures the one matchup where the land destruction package is terrible. I, uh, I don't draw the explore package, which is literally in the deck just for this. So, 
so I can... If they have a land, they'll be able to light up the stage. I think we risk them not having a land. Alright, that worked out. Don't have to take all the ping damage from Chandra. That's nice. Gain a couple life. Let's get this guy out here. No. Alright. Um, let's keep attacking. We'll block with Jade Light Ranger. Even though at this point they can skewer it. We'll shock it. So now they can attack and skewer. This can do a lot of damage here. That's fine. I think next turn we hold back Branch Walker. Because if you hold back the Branch Walker to block... Okay. That's not bad. This is also not bad. So... We can start gaining life. And drawing cards. I think we want. At this point in the game, I think we want black more for our stuff. Um, Crucible of Worlds is fine. So now I think we hold back. We have a blocker and we have a trophy. At this point, we just kind of want to stabilize with our ply planeswalker. So we'll be able to sack lands and then just play them with the Crucible of Worlds. So we're not losing too much value, which is nice. Um, so let's play Crucible of Worlds. So let's tap a green. So this is a very fun little interaction here. Um, cool, okay. So our Varaska keeps ticking up. We've got a trophy for protection. Alright, so... It's probably coming at the face. At this point, unless they're running main deck main fire or something, I think we just we just get the attacker off the board. All right, so start. Pain is weakness. Leave the body. Draw card. Gain a life. So next turn we potentially have the ultimate in there. Um, so I think we hold back here because we want to make sure we can block or kill whatever our opponent does. In next turn, as long as they don't send burn at Vraska. We will be able to ultimate Vraska and win. Which is always the fun way to win. Lightning strike our face. Gross. Are they slow rolling? Oh no. Oh god no. We are so lucky. We are so lucky. Whew. Two damage. Well. We can still get the ultimate win. Let's 
let's do it for fun. Aw, come on. They didn't even let us get the win. All right, so I mean, sure, that wasn't, I guess, the most aggressive play from our mono red opponent, but you can kind of see the power of this deck just to stabilize. Uh, there's the fun Crucible of Worlds and Vraska interaction. The uh, Field of Ruin interaction is probably not going to turn up too much in a mono red matchup, but yeah, it wasn't it wasn't for nothing. We get to sacrifice lands for free. So I think we keep this. A turn two J Light Ranger will hopefully find us our swamp. And then we get an early Vraska, which is nice. So another one of the main reasons Vraska is so good in this deck is because it can kill a lot of the problematic planeswalkers on the field. Your little Teferis. Ooh, perfect. Little Teferis, your uh Narset. Uh just a lot of the is Narset three? Narset's three. Okay, so we're planning on some kind of some Esper fun stuff. So what can we do here? So let's go tapped. So I, I have a sword in here just for funsies. I was like, I have one more card. Let's, let's try them out. Yeah, why not? You know? Is it less consistent than just playing like a Golgari Gul Gul Fine Broker? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So I'm not actually going to sack anything here. We need our lands, and I just want to get a Frask on the board here. We're playing against Grixis. I'm going to play some kind of Bolus or something. And that's fine. So let's play this Taft. Throw this, this fella out there. It's a bummer. We can only get a Land or Elf back now, but... We are demanding a lot of resources from our opponent, and we have a Lily coming up pretty soon. I take that back. We do not have a Lily coming out soon. But this is actually a deck that Field of Ruin might be pretty damn good against. It's like three colors. They do have a basic. They probably have a couple more, but let's find out. Let's find out if they run a mountains. Target creature or planeswalker card. Alrighty, let's uh, throw one of these little fellas out there. Um, yeah, let's keep it even. Okay, they're not running mountains. <laughs> I like that. The steam vents, though, you know. Never lucky. It's fine, we have a pretty clean answer to that next turn. We'll exile. Forest. Return. My intellect is without limit. So we have Fraska next turn. Minus Thought Erasure or something like that. From existing. So hopefully we'll be able to get back on board. Are they running counters in this deck? I they have some kind of removal. Grixis like is kind of the only deck running Bedevil nowadays, which is a good card, it's especially in best of one. Maybe I should make some Bedevil shenanigans. Between Bedevil and Assassin's Trophy, just make your opponents have a real bad time. Alright, so, I mean... They're up a card. And we are not drawing anything great. If that Raska could have stuck around a little longer, we probably would have been in better shape, but... Gross. Gross. All right, so we need one of our few clean answers for this. Good help is easy to find in war. Mm, okay, well, let's just 
try to keep them off red mana as much as we can. Oh man, they're out of basics. Okay. So, if we can answer this Lily, we can. Oh, god damn. Okay. So, one or two dead draws really bumming us out now. So, one of our many Assassin's trophies would be pretty clutch right now. Hmm. Go ahead. An unfortunate Ooh, that's good. That's pretty good. Okay. So out of the two of these, Liliana is definitely the more problematic card. protect our Brasco. That's kind of our only source of card advantage right now. It's bummer these are exiling, but man. Not, not necessarily the best of the mid-range decks, but Bolus is one hell of a card. Oh. Bummer. Okay, that sucks. Okay, okay. This is going to become a problem. We really need to get another Assassin's Trophy. So we have three more in the deck. So I don't really know what our opponent's going to do here. I mean, their plus is always good. I do have a lot of fodder. They could destroy my Verasco, which is really the only source of card advantage. No. Oh. Interesting. Smart. Okay. I am one again. Well, bye bye Field of Ruin Lock. And there's their red now. Okay, so. I feel like I need to keep my lands. If I were you, I'd just surrender right now. I do love a good death. Ways to not walk dead. I feel like they're gonna have to mine us here. Liliana can just get two out of control. Interesting. So I wonder what that means they have in their hand. Okay. Okay. So I could bring back something to my hand. I could trophy. 
This bolus can flip next turn. I think I need to get rid of that because this a flipped bolus is a problem. We're at least momentarily protected. I have an answer to some creature. I will return one day. My schemes are never ending. That's a bummer. All right. We need to draw something. We need to draw out of this. Not a very good card, but no, not the worst. So easily. Um, okay, that's both of my lilies. Come on, come on. Alright, I think I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna try to fight through that. That's uh We put up a fight. I don't feel terrible about that loss, but you know. Things got Things got a little out of hand. I think if we uh, locked them out of red mana a little quicker, that would have been helpful. Um, but yeah, just trying to fight through multiple boluses, multiple bedevils. Uh, so I think we keep this. We got our Field of Ruin to find us our black mana, and right now we're not super reliant on black. I mean, getting the blood fast out pretty quick would be nice. Um... But right now, honestly, getting the Explorer package on is going to be huge against White Weenie. Alright, so let's go... Wild Wolf Walker. No attacks. Uh, mono white. Not many targets for a field of ruin. Okay. A uh not exactly the traditional mono white. Interesting. Alright, alright. That's not gonna happen. At least, n I mean, next turn we can start Nissa ing. Have all of the mana one would ever need. It doesn't seem like a. I mean, it's a cool interaction, but it doesn't seem particularly powerful. Like a. I mean, you're taking four damage every time, which is cool, I guess. Maybe protecting Paladin. Okay. Mmm, oh, blocks. Okay. Um, I don't even know what would be like good right now. I mean. Sticking a powerful planeswalker is always a good time. not that one come to its conclusion because we all know where that's going we'll get it we'll get there one of these days i swear it we will all right 
I got a dessert treat to hopefully make this last uh, this last chance work, you know? This deck does some cool stuff. I mean, who would have thought Crucible of the Worlds in a standard would be such a cool little tool? I think, uh... What's that card called? Memorial? No, 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 no. Something of War? Well, that's a... It's a big pile of poop right there. I mean, it's not great. It's not bad. I mean, we got, we got our colors. Mm. It's not great against mono red. Yeah. So a wild growth walker right now would be the best draw. Man, I wish this was like modern. Playing death and taxes. Sling a little lean and arbiter down. Just close that shit. Okay, more lands, more lands. Let me consult my War of the Spark Binder from our sweet box opening that you should check out. The card in question that I think this deck needs is in here. Ah, yes. Casualties of War. That's the one. Destroy one of everything, including your lands. This is a fine trade. I'm down. Just do it. Kill it. Do it. It's fine. I don't really care. It's fine. It's completely fine. I'm just, I'm just digging. Right now, all I want is a sweet, sweet. Couple turns away. Eh, what? Let's keep it. Next turn, we got some removal or a store of the uh, the Russian lift lich. So we could easily attack and shock or attack and wizard's lightning, which is fine. Take out two cards for the price of one. Um, never too disappointed to make my opponents, especially on mono red, use a lot more of their resources. If not, oh, that's pretty nice. Oh, that's, that is pretty nice. You know, pretty nice. That, that's pretty nice. Uh, yeah, let's come back here. I don't know if get the game break. What am I doing? Whatever. I'm eating this ice cream like a savage, I apologize. Wow. So the other day I was playing mono red and it was a best for best of three deck. I have 20 lands. I drew nine lands in a row. So I'm not going to say I know how my opponent feels because they feel bad. This is not even a real game, but I know how they feel. It's fine. Okay. See, I knew I was going to get the J-Light Ranger the whole time. Do they really... Oh, man. I'm sorry. 
I really am. That sucks. I mean, I guess it's boring. It's good against Mono Red, but... I wish there was like a, I'm sorry, or I feel it, I I wish you the best, Sundaro. It's rough. It is rough. The ultimate here isn't even, it's not even good. Good game, sir. Good game. I respect that. a powerful man to take his own life. Okay, two for two, two for two. Not, not good. Not terrible. I'm gonna start having freaking chocolate over my mouth. I'm gonna turn myself into one of them, that Korean food thing. Mukbang. Okay. I mean, I think we're going to have another non game, but. Well, you know, we're going to get them, going to get that good somehow. start gaining some life. Take that back, we're not going to start gaining some life. So I wonder if our opponent is on just straight Demir, or if they're on Esper. if our opponent is on Esper. Then this would be a lot worse than Okay, so they have basics. Plenty of targets. Don't have it. Like a cast down or something. So this sticks, we get a Raska back. Come on, don't. Have the perfect answer. I mean, I do have an answer with classic, which is a bummer, but. We'll get an activation. Oh man. The flood is real. Yep. Put. 
Nothing like your Vrask getting killed by a land. Mm hmm. Just do it, it's fine. Figures after my Field of Ruin. <laughs> I wasted my Field of Ruins on there. and with us for too long. Basically, completely no one can your crucible of the lights here. Alright. Not bad, not bad. My dreams disappear. She has a voice. Sounded like the friggin' Jafar's assistant in Aladdin. Alright, well, we got a fun little loop gonna go on here. And our opponent only has one card in the end, so hopefully I can't stop the value train from the rolling out. They haven't presented anything that would be a target for that. So let's sacrifice a forest. Being ruthless. Play a forest. Draw a card. Draw a card. <laughs> Good god. It's insane. So many lands. So many lands. Alright, well, we still have one Liliana. I'm not really pushing us life total wise, so. Oh my god. Ooh, okay. That's good. Not like that. So let's start here. Its loss will be mm. I like where this is going. Now we've got all the man in the world. Strange and magnificent world. The land shall conquer you. So I think we're in pretty good. I think we're in a pretty good position here. Our opponent was one for rolling us for a while, but the old Vraska Crucible combo coming in pretty clutch. And to be real, Argyle's Bloodfast is pretty goddamn killer in this deck. Yeah, literally, it could kill me, but um, yeah, with the Explore package gone. Well, you know, they tried. They did maul. But uh, Planeswalkers are very powerful. And I am a huge fan of this Crucible combo. Um, it is super rad. This deck, I definitely need to work on more. Um, I'm definitely going to do best of three. Get some Casualties of War. I, know, I could probably tweak the Planeswalker base. I kind of just... I was like, these are good. Rask is good. Big Rask is good. Vivian's good. And this is good. They're all good. Explore package is just always good. My removal suite. I literally just toss some stuff in there. Um, so we're going to keep this for sure. It's incredible against mono red. Hopefully. 
smooth out our mana base. This is this is just your good old fashioned Golgari right here. So turn on mountain, yeah. <laughs> Uh, this this lane or elves is probably not long for this world, but I mean, it's gonna gain us two life. It's not bad. One one elf comes into play, you gain two life. Someone would probably play that. It's not good, but so play the walker. It's probably gonna get bolted. If it doesn't get bolted. We've got a pretty good situation on our hands. Bolted or double shocked? I mean, double shock is always what you want. You want to get all those cards out of your opponent's hand. You want to pad your life total even more. So they could be holding, like, chain whirlers and some other stuff. Okay. It's fine. We've sucked up five lives so far. Go Branch Walker, try to find some lands. Don't want another elf. Now we'll go Swamp. We'll go Duress. We'll see what they're working with. Cause them to probably fire off a couple burn spells right now. Okay, get rid of Skewer. We got these Field of Ruins, which is a bummer. So we need a forest. A forest could potentially get us back into this. Literally the worst. Oh my god. Oh, you double mana symbol bastards. You're close to- oh yeah, of course. Of course. GG's, my sir. GG's. So, this deck can do some really, really cool stuff. I'm not sure how many Crucible Worlds you need, how many fields and all that stuff, but there's 100% something here. And I kind of want to I want to keep working on it. I want to see the list the Japanese people are playing. All I kind of went off of was I heard there was the Crucible Worlds, Field of Ruin, Assassin's Trophy combo. I didn't even realize the awesome freaking Vraska synergies that we had going on. Um, maybe Duress is just kind of bad in this deck. Maybe just get rid of these, make it the full Explore package. Kind of tidy up our Planeswalker package. I think if we went to best of three, we would have stuff like... Um, what's that? Freaking Elder Spell against Planeswalkers. Just a lot of good tools, but... I think the base of this deck is really cool. I, I really like sacrificing lands to Vraska and then just getting them right back with Crucible Worlds. I think that is a really, really cool interaction. And it's a, an interaction that's been around for a really long time in Standard. Um, I think I've heard like whispers of it and stuff like that. Um, this card, when it hit, was pretty good. I think maybe having one or two of these in your Golgari decks is not a bad idea. It hits hard. It's aggressively costed, especially with Elves in your deck. Um, yeah, I mean, Nyssa really performed. I think maybe a couple more Nyssa over Vivians or something like that. There's some, there's definitely some cool stuff here. So I would definitely keep an eye out on Crucible Rock. Yeah. And as always, if you like what you see, like and subscribe on YouTube. Tell your friends. Tell everybody. Just hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, leave a comment if you have any other thoughts on how to make this archetype better. See you later.